Hey there, my name's Chris, and in today's video, I'll show you two neat tricks that will allow you to embed files into your PDF documents, making the visualization of data in your reports much more reliable and dynamic. The first trick we're going to dive into is about attaching Excel files to your PDFs. This method involves leveraging the attachment feature of PDF Element to embed our spreadsheets within your PDFs. Once we've created our report and inserted a chart to represent the values from our spreadsheet, the first step is to open our document with PDF Element and navigate to the Comment tab. Among the tools in this tab, you will find the Attachment button. Clicking on it will turn our cursor into a pin, allowing us to click anywhere in our document to create an attachment button. In this case, I recommend placing the button in the bottom left or right corner of your chart. This will ensure the button is noticeable and maintains an implicit connection with the chart. As soon as you click to set the attachment location, the Windows File Explorer will open, allowing you to locate and select the spreadsheet from which you originally derived the data used to create the chart. After a few seconds, you'll see a button just like this one here. When you double click this button, a confirmation window like this will appear. It will ask for your permission to open the attached document. You can choose the option Always Allow Opening Files of this type to speed up the process in future. Once the spreadsheet opens, your readers will be able to carefully review the spreadsheet to clarify any questions they may have regarding the chart you've inserted. As an additional little tip, I'd like to remind you that these buttons we just created can easily be customized using the Properties panel, located on the right side of the window. This allows us to choose an icon, add a description, and even select a color that matches the color palette we've used for our report. It's pretty cool, isn't it? These buttons are super handy and give our documents an extra pop that will impress your readers. However, if your document includes multiple charts, you might find the button a bit cumbersome. Luckily, the second trick we'll explore offers an alternative that will hardly take up any space in your document. It's about adding hyperlinks from Excel spreadsheets to your PDFs. To do this, you'll need to go to the Edit tab, and among the tools in this tab, select Add Link. After selecting this feature, our cursor will turn into a selection tool with which you can select an area in our document that will act as a button. The idea is to select an area that completely covers our chart. After selecting the area, a window like this will appear. In this window, the first thing we need to do is check the Open a File option and use the small button right here to locate and select our spreadsheet. Now we need to ensure that our hyperlink doesn't go unnoticed. To do this, we can check the visible rectangle box here and adjust the appearance attributes to make it visible, maintaining a color format consistent with the rest of the document. This way, we'll turn our chart into clickable links that we can click during a presentation of a report to open the original spreadsheet and address any questions from our collaborators. An interesting aspect of this method is that we can use these same area hyperlinks to open websites with a double click allowing us to add links to web viewers such as Google Sheets. With these two quick and easy tricks up your sleeve, you can expect your reports and presentations to be a resounding success. But that's just the beginning of what PDF Element can offer. In the video description, you'll find a link to the official PDF Element website where you can download the software for free and explore not only the features we've covered in this video, but also a whole host of others. Thank you for staying with me until the end of this video, and if you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will continue bringing you many more videos with many tips and tricks to make your work a lot easier. Also feel free to take a look at the rest of the videos on the channel, where you will find many more videos just like this one. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.